Well, thank you so much, Catherine. Right now, we're going to talk money, and we got our favorite money guy here. This is Michael Carlin. We're talking about finances and divorce, mm -hmm. something that's really rough, both handling your money and going through a divorce. Right. I mean, people always worry, like, what if the market goes down? What if I lose some money here? What about losing half? I know. That's why taking care of your money through the divorce process is key and critical. Now, you say that, you know, during the stock market, mm -hmm. if you lost 20% of your investments, 30%, yeah. you can make a comeback. But when That's it's 50% right. or more, especially in a divorce, yeah. that could be devastating. Yeah, unfortunately, you see in divorces a lot of people, sometimes it takes them a lifetime to recover financially. Wow. So we really want to make sure we get these key points across to mm -hmm. make sure people uh, avoid making some critical mistakes. Well, you say that they need to have a financial guru. Right. What does does that encompass and what does it entail? Well, so if you've ever known anyone who's gone through a divorce. Yeah, it's rough. Right, it's yeah. rough and so it's emotional. And, and how do you take some of that emotion out is that you need good unemotional disciplined guidance. So you can get that from a lawyer, you can get that from a financial advisor with real experience in divorce or they have right. a certified divorce expert, mm -hmm. get yourself a therapist too. You're looking for that unbiased team to help you. A therapist, that's interesting because yeah. I never heard of someone having a therapist while they're going through divorce proceedings. Yeah. The financial planner, so yeah, of course yeah. the attorney, but mm -hmm. a therapist. Yeah, you want to just try to do things to keep yourself in balance emotionally mm -hmm. because you don't want to make, again, that financial decision or that emotional mistake that can cause you harm for years down the road. And you're talking a mental health professional, mm -hmm. someone that can help you stay balanced, stay yeah. focused. Wow, interesting things to know. You also say it's important to organize all of your documents. And at this time in your life, you are frazzled. Most I know. people are. So trying to get everything, or it's hard enough organizing just your papers for your taxes. I know. Let alone a divorce, and that's years of papers. So here's the thing, though, but you need to do this because you're trying to figure out, you know, because you may or may not have been in charge of your finances, but you want to get right. a sense of the history. Mm -hmm. You also want to get a sense, if you get the historical five years worth of documents right. you'll get a sense you know was your spouse trying to move money out I mean you see all kinds of yeah, stuff that's interesting. so if you get if you get a nice long five-year snapshot of all the bank accounts credit card accounts those kind of things you get a sense of the history all right and you also say that other things are real important like your tax returns yeah because sometimes you're going to be splitting the tax return and yeah. some people do it like if they've had the divorce and then taxes are due and they're going to be splitting this money, that could be so tricky. You want to know whether or not you, you, when you're splitting things up, do I have half of a tax liability or do I have half of a refund coming to me? Right. You need the tax returns to know. And you also got to think about your retirement, your appraisal items, especially right. if you had like fine artwork and stuff like that. Those get are those the, appraisals, wow. get them, get the jewelry appraisals, all that stuff. You say that everyone needs to look at their credit history and yeah. it's even more vital when you're getting a divorce because it could affect your credit and it could bring it down. There's a few different, well, there's a few different things. I mean, so one, you're going to want to make sure you get a sense for what are the credit cards that are out there? What accounts do we have? The credit okay. report has that. So go to www.annualcreditreport.com. Okay. You can get a free credit report. It's comprehensive once a year. The other thing that you're going to want to know with your credit report is you're going to want to get a sense for uh, what your credit score is mm -hmm. because, again, when you do separate, is that you may, your spouse may be the one with a good credit that may be propping up your credit. Oh, okay. So you're going to want to get a handle on that before the divorce goes through. All right. Which leads us into the next, which is, you know, make sure you go ahead and get a credit card. I was going to say, name. you have to get your own credit. You have to, it's like you, you are really starting your life all over. You got to reestablish your own credit, mm -hmm. which has your change name on it and everything That's and you're right. starting from scratch and but well b before you get that divorce and before your name is changed i want to make sure you have a credit card in your own name okay for another reason is that make sure you have access to cash divorces oh, can get a little crazy okay. that's you, a good tip to know yeah you don't want to get stuck without cash Oh my God! Or, or an access to funds, and you never divorces can. We've seen it all. Mm -hmm. So well, let's see. We got about thirty seconds. You say crafting a new budget because yep. now your money is completely different. So what are the steps that someone needs? If you, to do? It, well, lots of people say, well, um, uh, so I'm half the couple I used to be. I have half the budget that I need. No, that's not the case. Yeah. So go through and figure out what rent and uh, the health insurance and car payments are going to look like, and recraft your budget. And make sure you change out those beneficiaries. You got to because <laughs> you would be surprised. Is that divorces happen? You don't change mm -hmm. your beneficiaries. Someone dies, and then the money goes to your ex-spouse. And you don't want that. And in, some, in some cases, you don't. Most cases, you don't want yeah. that. In life insurance, to all of that stuff. You got to manage those funds. And if you want more information, that's the website. Go to managethefunds.com. Michael, you're fantastic. Thank you for the tips and information. When we come back, Catherine's going to be talking with an author who wrote the book From Broken to Badass.